Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no boo video. Today I would like to talk about uh, losing weight. The reason why I started this video is because we just passed um, Christmas New Year period and I noticed how full my local gym is and everyone trying to work hard to lose weight and out of all equipments, the scales, it's the busiest place in the gym. And look, losing weight is a problem in many people's mind and, uh, minds and it's not the right way to go about it. A uh, really good friend of mine, he's um, told myself um, six foot tall or in metrics uh, one meter 83 centimeters and he's um, 115 kilos. His body fat around 10%, which is ideal. He's very muscly. And if you would look at um, scale that would treat people, whether they overweight or obese, called BMI, body mass index, it's very outdated system. In that system, he would be obese, not even overweight, obese. And he's one of the healthiest leanest guys you probably ever meet so that is the beginning of conversation i would like to have with people that are trying to lose weight please don't because losing weight is an art and people that are trying to trick or cheat that art will end up sicker and more miserable than they are and at the end of the day will quit their goal please let me explain our weight is our body composition. What body composition is, is amount of bones or bone density, is amount of muscles that cover your bones and support your skeletal system, is amount of liquid or let's say for, for simplicity water retained in the body. As you may know, we retain water, um, depends on nutrition, depends on gender, uh, in different way and time of the day as well so when you wake up you're mostly dehydrated when you're going to sleep you're mostly uh, hydrated and without doing anything that would be different in, on scales between one to two kilos you can trick yourself into a weight loss um, idea so what people usually do when they're trying to lose weight they start cutting and food consumption they start uh, more vigorous exercising and they find themselves on scale many times a day honestly i'm against all of that it's not the way to go and you'll find yourself sick if you do this so first of all let's start with uh, eating less or less caloric food when you eat food body expects two things energy and nutrition if body gets energy but doesn't get nutrition you will remain hungry and your body asks for more food if you eat calorically dense and uh, nutrition nutrition dense food your body will be satisfied for longer my example would be, and I, I didn't Google it, but take one avocado and one donut. If you eat one donut, it's probably 100 calories. One avocado, I think, between three to 400 uh, calories. So let's say if you eat three donuts, it will be equal one avocado. And if you eat them separately and you're metabolically healthy, you will find after a donut in half an hour, you, you will be hungry because donut will not only be empty of any nutrition also it would deplete you from those nutrients that remain in your body when avocado is very nutritiously dense food and your body will thrive on it so while calories in some sense matter they don't matter in the way that people treat them so i beg you if you would like to become healthy if you would like to lose fat and not weight stop counting calories stop weighing yourself just eat well and eat towards what you do in your life 
because if you sit all day every day and then you go to sleep and you eat you really need way less of um, energy and more nutrition in you if you exercise if you active you need more energy and more nutrition and there's a variation of those uh, um, bits the second one is going to gym or do uh, physical exercise to lose weight that's the really bad way to approach weight loss and reason is that it's the way how we as humans store energy historically and how we lose or, or, or uh, um, use energy first of all storing energy is healthy and it is important because evolutionary we did not know when next meal comes because we had to hunt we had to gather and we had to consume it and genetically we're the same what changes ability of find food anywhere and consume it and that what goes against us so if you would like to lose weight eat nutrition nutritious food and eat less people say practice intermittent fasting I would say practice intermittent eating, eat one meal a day, eat two meals a day in a short period of time and challenge your body into using those stores that you already got. If you go to gym but you still eat three, four times a day, you won't be able to tap into those stores that is in your body. You will be using all the energy that you consume that is around you. So going harder at exercise would not lead to any weight loss and if it will lead to weight loss it will be loss of the water retention and maybe even muscles you won't tap in those fat resources let's talk about fat resources if you are looking skinny it doesn't mean that you're not fat you actually more fat could be more fat than person around you that got visible subcutaneous fat Fat around vital organs is not visible most of the time around liver, around kidneys and that's the fat that is most dangerous to your health. So if you're trying to lose weight for health purposes, stop focusing on your weight. Start focusing on your diet, nutrition, sleep and how you go about it. Your scales unlikely reveal how much fat you got around the liver. What will reveal is a DEXA scan. DEXA scan will show where and how much fat you've got. If you don't want to spend any money on DEXA scan, the best um, indicator that you're getting healthy is you feel better, as you sleep better, your relationship with people around you is better, and you're glowing. That's how people get in healthier. So I'll continue in separate videos um, subject in how to lose fat without losing weight because for example currently I weigh 83 kilograms a meter 83 which is in my body composition I'm at my best yet in BMI scales I will be overweight guess what I'm not uh, I'm as lean as I like to be I feel great I sleep great and everything going well so here's an example how me step, stepping on scales would not help anything and i don't definitely don't want to lose any weight because my weight is all in right places it's muscle it's bone density and very little subcutaneous uh, and fat around organs i would say um, just about 10 percent body fat which is great 10 or maybe 11. so i just i think placed a sit in the ground and see how it grows if you have any questions about nutrition sport and exercise losing weight or just general life please comment down below if you like this video or any other video on this channel please subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos and now i definitely expand on the subject of health and losing fat thank you so much for watching greg from brisbane australia until next time.